What's up everyone, Bando here with another video for you guys, and this is my first unboxing video. Have you seen you seen my Luxfly controller that I used that I promised you guys in my previous video or my update video. Now I'm gonna do an unboxing, so let's take the lid off. Now what you first find is that you find your Luxfly controller. It's in this nice little box, or whatever you want to call it. And then you can see that you have your nice bag of little goodies right here. So shape and header, row seven pin. Yeah, this that stuff. And then you obviously find this nice little coating stuff. Not really important, but I just like that nice material. Let's put that back in on the side. Now you see in this tiny bag of goodies you got let's op let's open this up first all right so throw this bag away you f you get a couple of nice little goodies anyways you got your four um rubber grommets or not grommets but four rubber Things and this is just to help with the vibration of the flight controller when you're um, that for mounting. So that's a cool feature that they give you. Now the next two things are these two pin headers right here. So as you can already see, they are sticking vertically out. So they don't come with the right angle band pin headers and the reason why I'll show you later and when I see, when I unbox my black and lux black controller I'm gonna show you why it's like that. Alright so the way let's just open this out first uh, and wha bam you got your lux like a controller. Nice, right? So, this is a fairly small flight controller I can already see. And it does have a STM 332. Well, it's um F3 processor and obviously it has a lot of pins like ground all this all of these nice little pins that I will be doing in my build videos how to attach them. But now I will show you the pins. So here's a black controller and then these are the pins. So you can see that these pins actually go vertical because it goes in just like that. So you can see that the pins go like that. So they go vertical like that out. So this is obviously your pointer, so this is where the front of the quad will be. So, what's a good feature is that it doesn't need a right hand because everything is sticking out into the quad instead of out of the quad like the terrible Nase 32. It's not terrible, but the older Nase 32, even the newer ones. So, this is a nice little feature that they created and has an F3 processor, which is awesome. And a nice feature is that has a USB right here, so you could easily plug it in from the outside of your quad and program it like that. And you can see that there's these tiny bridges right here and here, and those bridges are just for, you can change it to 5 volts output and ppm or srx like s bus so yeah this is just this is just a quick video cool nice little video out for you guys and i am also going to have a build video teaching you how to use this so make sure you check that out and peace out